Hi everyone, this is August 12th, 2010. I've made it through week 27 of my interferon treatments. Only thing I can report right now to everyone is that, you know, the first six months of the treatment, um, I was pretty much he man. I, I thought I was able to handle everything, you know, and the side effects wasn't all that bad. And, uh, you know, I'd have actually have whole a whole full week of feeling good, and uh, after I got to that halfway mark, uh, things seemed to go downhill for me. Uh, boy, I tell you, I'm I'm super, super, and super, and I stress super fatigued, tired. Um, I'm getting aches uh, each and every day now which I control with the ibuprofen um, it's just it's so so it's just so tiresome you know my mind is tired my body is tired um, I'm still hopeful I'm still uh, positive I am not depressed in any way I'm just teetotally fatigued and tired um, that's all I can say about right now at this point in time in this treatment. Uh, I'm not getting any sleep. Um, this past week has even gotten worse. Um, I lay in bed and roll and toss and turn. I've tried the Advil PM as the doctor had uh, said that I could have and it's not working. I had uh, even tried Tylenol PM uh, which I did speak with my doctor, Lena Berry, which she's out of the office still yet today, but um, she happened to make a call to me, and we talked, and she told me that I'm allowed to take up to like 500 milligrams of Tylenol PM, which is uh, one tablet, uh, one caplet, I guess they call it, before bedtime. Um, again, that didn't work for me either. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do about my sleep. Uh, I do see my new doctor at the end of the at the end of this month, and I'm going to bring it up to her. Maybe uh, she'll have another suggestion for me. I would like to try and stay away from sleeping medications. Um, anything that's narcotic, I, I want to stay away from. But uh, I I'm going to give it the rest of this month and see what else I can do. Um, it doesn't matter how late I stay up, it doesn't matter how much I exercise, it doesn't matter uh, how much I eat or don't eat, I just don't have the um, pattern to be able to get myself to sleep. It's pretty rough, it really is. Um, and uh, man, my legs ache so bad, it's not funny. Um, I got a lot of aches and pains throughout my whole body. Uh, and, and like I said, it's coming more frequent. It's each and every day. I don't have one full good day anymore. But uh, don't let this discourage you from uh, uh, considering the treatment because, um, you know, when you're achy and feeling yucky like this, you know, it, it can sound pretty bad. And a lot of people out there in this world don't quite understand. If you tell them you're on chemo and radiation, they would probably understand because they... Uh, hear of that more often than they do the interferon treatment but um, yeah you do you uh, you feel really achy and tired and you just want to just drop to the floor sometimes but uh, you know I I'm not giving up I'm, I'm staying forward um, I'm looking forward to New Year's Eve at the end of my treatment uh, I'm gonna be celebrating with him some uh, sparkling apple cider uh, I just love that stuff, so I'm going to break open a big bottle of that and uh, celebrate my last injection. I will be taking my 28 injection tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Um, I have 48 total, so I'm getting closer. The light is getting brighter at the end of the tunnel. Um, I miss all my AA friends, my support group. Uh, they're the ones who I lean on to get by one day at a time. I miss each and every one of them. I uh, I do talk to a couple of them, of them on the telephone and quite a few on the internet. I've even attended um, 
an online AA meetings which is not quite the same I don't get that fellowship feeling uh, as I do when I see all my friends in, in person um, but you know I want to thank each and every one of you uh, people out there for your comments on Facebook and your emails your comments on uh, YouTube and your emails from them uh, your questions and concerns you know I greatly appreciate that anytime you you want to know something and if I know I will share uh, cyberfamily08 at yahoo.com um, I don't benefit from this whatsoever other than um, you help me get through this and I'm willing to help you get through it so um, you know feel free to email me anytime I want to thank my wife for her support um, our 15 years of anniversary date was yesterday um, bless her heart I love her so much and I'm so thankful that we are able to uh, keep our marriage going and it's actually growing stronger and stronger and closer and closer so you couldn't ask for a better marriage than that um, and I want to thank all of uh, my supporters for each and everything that you say and do um, and please you know as I mentioned last week keep all your negative uh, comments to yourself um, it's not good for your health and it's not good for the person's health that you're saying them to anyway I do love you all I hope that uh, you stay healthy and have a great weekend and remember to say no to drugs and alcohol that's very important um, drugs and alcohol just basically about killed me in my lifetime and I'm still cleaning up the wreckage of my past but things are much better today anyway um, God bless you all God is with me and uh, I hope to be able to give you my uh, update next week I'm just freshly out of the shower I was hoping the shower would wake me up more spunk me up a little but I tell you it doesn't matter what you do man or what I do it's it's very very tiresome very fatigued tired achy but you know what I've been worse off than this before so I gotta keep thinking positive I love you all have a great weekend and uh, talk to you next week.